While you probably don't want to think about it, there are most likely hundreds of tiny bugs living in your home right now. But you should really resist the urge to squish any spiders that snuck across the threshold. Here's why. Saving spiders you find in your house not only saves you from having to clean dead spider gunk off your windows and walls, it also comes with some serious benefits. The main benefit of befriending these eight-legged acquaintances is that spiders eat the insects you really don't want in your house, like mosquitoes, ants, beetles, flies, and moths. To kill their prey, spiders inject them with an enzyme from their fangs. This turns the bugs' insides into a liquid, which they then suck out and eat. Good looking out, Charlotte. Is that better? Oh, yeah! While this process may sound disgusting, it's a big reason why a well-maintained home is largely free from the most bothersome of pests. So if you discover empty insect exoskeletons in the course of cleaning your home, know that a spider has recently been snacking. Bugs like mosquitoes and flies can be quite annoying, especially if they continuously fly around your head, emitting a nagging, buzzing noise. Some can also carry diseases such as Lyme and malaria. A 2018 study published by the International Journal of Mosquito Research found that spiders can be especially useful in killing mosquitoes that carry malaria, a tremendous benefit for us humans. If it's spider bites you're worried about, there's good news. Unlike the large poisonous spiders of your nightmares, almost all of the species that live in the U.S. are harmless to humans. In fact, if you believe that you've been bitten by a spider in the past, you might be wrong. According to arachnologist Chris Buttle, what many believe to be spider bites are actually either reactions from chemicals or bites from insects like fleas. The expert explains that real spider bites aren't all that common. He said in an interview with Live Science, I've been handling spiders for almost 20 years, and I've never been bitten. You really have to work to get bitten by a spider because they don't want to bite you. Arachnid bites only happen when the critter is afraid or startled, like if you quickly place your hand inside a crevice they're hiding in. Leave them alone, and they should leave you alone. We like this place, and we like you. Additionally, there are only two species that could be dangerous here in the U.S., the widow and recluse groups. Seek medical attention if you believe you have been bitten by a widow or recluse spider, but all other types shouldn't be a cause for concern. At the end of the day, those with arachnophobia may still want these eight-legged creatures out of their homes. If this is the case for you, your first line of defense could be to use ingredients you may already have on hand. According to a 2018 study published by the Journal of Economic Entomology, mint oil and chestnuts can be powerful spider repellents. Placing one or both of these near your windows and doors could keep spiders from entering your house. On the other hand, if you come across an arachnid already residing in your abode, you or the friend you call to come deal with spiders could release it outside with the help of a cup and a piece of paper. Just place the cup over the critter, slide the piece of paper underneath, and transport it outside. If spiders prove to be a common concern, you you could invest in a manual catcher or grabber, which has a long neck and soft bristles that are controlled by a trigger. The bristles will contain the spider until you can safely release it in your yard. Another more dramatic option is an insect vacuum, which will suck the creature up into a clear tube over which you can place a safety stopper while transporting it safely outside.